What's good, YouTube? This is Real Dev Freedom. Back with another video. And you know what I'm saying? Looking looking lean, you know what I'm saying? Muscles is coming up. Had them skinny arms, they coming, they coming through. You know what I mean? Getting a little little bit of gains, a little bit. But um basically uh, I'm making this video because my subscribers have been asking me um what did I do to basically how did I lose the weight? What it was my method. And um basically in this video we're gonna be talking about intermittent fasting and um give you the details on what I did and how I did it. Um, basically, I had an 8-hour eating window and a 16-hour fast. And um, my 8-hour my eating window was from 12 to 8 p.m. And um, um, I was eating really healthy. I was eating real clean proteins, um, a lot of vegetables, a lot of green vegetables, um, complex carbohydrates like um, whole grain rice and um, whole grain oats whole grain bread, um, I stopped eating processed foods, um, <clears throat> ate a lot of, um, when it came to my proteins, once, another thing that I ate with my proteins was I was eating, drinking uh, protein shakes, um, eating a lot of eggs, fish, chicken, I don't know if I repeated myself, but um, and then periodically I would have my red meats, but mostly clean proteins with low fat, and um, <clears throat> um when it came to sugars, um, I really basically re took them out, took that out of my diet for the most part. Besides, you know what I mean, um, eating um, like fruits and like fruits and fruits and natural sugars. But um, <clears throat> so, and then also what I would say, what I that I learned recently that actually makes things even better with this intermittent fasting is you want to get all your sugars and um, simple sugars. If you're still going to be eating those, you want to eat those earlier in your in your eating window. And as the day goes on, you want to reduce your sugar intake because essentially what intermittent fasting does is it makes it where your body drops its um, um, sugar levels to a point where it has to use fat as an energy source. And um, so the the earlier you stop eating sugars, the more body fat you're going to start burning. And um, <clears throat> I would say something word of advice is um, that I that I that I noticed when I started intermittent fasting is the first three days, three to four days to a week, um, your body is gonna you're gonna feel extreme hunger pains. You're gonna think that you dang near about to die of starvation. But really, all it is is that your body is in a, uh, with, having withdrawals because it's not getting the sugar intake that it usually gets, and um, you just have to fight through that, you know what I'm saying, you fight through it, you know what I'm saying, this intermittent fasting is not that bad, it's pretty easy, and you can get through it, you know what I'm saying, pretty effectively. And um, <clears throat> also, outside of your eating window, you can drink water, tea, and coffee, as long as it has no calories, or even drinks that are, you know what I'm saying, calorie-free drinks. So with your coffee, no sugar or cream, you know what I'm saying, with your tea, no, no sugar or, you know what I mean, or, or honey or whatever you may use. You can use, I guess, artificial sweeteners, I guess. But I really didn't do that. I just stuck to the basics. I drank a lot of water, and I did drink green tea outside of my window. and uh, But, you know what I'm saying, with no, with no kind of sugar in it. And um, when it comes to your, um, your calories, I'm going to put a link below that will, um, it's a micronutrient calculator where you basically put in your weight and your activity level and what your objective is if you're trying to lose weight, maintain, or, um, or, or gain, um, you put, it gives you numbers on like an estimate of your calorie intake that you need for that day. And you get that in within, in within that window. So obviously, if you're a person that's trying to lose fat, then I would say, I would suggest being at maintenance or around 500, no more than 500 under your maintenance levels. Um, within your eating window. So just say if your maintenance is 2,000 calories per day, you can do 2,000 calories per day. And then if you want to really get the fat loss, really, you know what I'm saying, get things started, maybe start, go, go to 1,500 calories a day. But I would say between 1,500, 2,000 calories is your eating, that is what you would, um, where you, where your calories would be at if that's what if you were just saying, if you were 2,000 calories, um, for maintenance. And then basically, um, <clears throat> you do this and you combine it with um, intermittent, no, no, I'm sorry, not intermittent fasting, but um, if you combine this with high intensity interval training, you can lose a lot of weight. And what I mean by high intensity interval training, um, 
I'll be making another video going into detail. I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to give an explanation to my subscribers about what I did in reference to losing the weight when it came to intermittent fasting. So we'll make an overview. In conclusion, I had an eight-hour eating window and a 16-hour fast. I ate really clean, took out the processed foods, and took out the simple sugars. Ate complex carbs that were like, for example, um, whole wheat, um, oats, whole wheat rice, and um, whole wheat bread. Ate a lot of proteins that were like, for example, chicken, fish, nuts, drank whey protein drinks, and um, when it came to ate a lot of fruit, when it came to fruits and vegetables, ate a lot of um, green vegetables and um, and just all kinds of different fruits. Ate this throughout my eating window, and um, tried to reduce the sugar intake or even just carb intake as the day went on. Do that, you'll be good to go. And I did this seven days a week. I was strict. I didn't eat outside my eating window, and I drank a lot of water. So um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or issues. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can reach me through message or leave a comment. Um, you know what I'm saying? Guys, make sure you don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. You guys have a real deal day. You know what I'm saying? We can make this happen. You guys take it easy.